Kia ora koutou, I'm Nicola Delbeth. I'm a, a rheumatologist working in Auckland and president of the New Zealand Rheumatology Association. So I've been asked to give you uh, an update on COVID-19 vaccination for people with rheumatic disease who are on immunosuppressive medication. Uh, the first thing to say is that we are recommending uh, COVID-19 vaccination for all people with rheumatic disease who are on disease-modifying uh, anti-rheumatic medications or immunosuppressive therapy. It has become clear that uh, people who are on uh, certain medications for treatment of their rheumatic disease do have a reduced response to uh, the COVID-19 vaccine. And for this reason, the Ministry of Health has recommended a third primary dose of the COVID-19 vaccination. So this is essentially a third dose of the initial vaccine schedule, which is the equivalent to two doses for someone who uh, is not taking these medications and is not immunocompromised. So I just would really like to talk through the uh, third primary dosing and also how this aligns with the uh, booster dosing as well. Now, I would say that the information that I'm giving you is current to at, uh, or is correct in uh, February 2022, but it is possible that this will change uh, as we learn more about the vaccines and, and the virus. Uh, so the main points are that people who are on immunosuppressive medications for their arthritis or rheumatic disease, uh, including rituximab, cyclophosphamide, methotrexate, leflunamide, azathioprine, methotrexate, cyclosporin, uh, people who were on these medications at the time of their initial vaccines are eligible for a third primary dose, according to the Ministry of Health guidance. People who were on long-term prednisone of at least 10 milligrams a day at the time of their initial vaccine are also eligible for the third primary dose. So in a sort of ideal world, the vaccine schedule uh, for people who are on these medications would be as follows. Dose one and dose two, uh, then dose three, which is the third primary dose, and that's given uh, at least eight weeks after dose two. And that then completes the primary dose and then in addition, a booster dose, which is dose four, about uh, three months after that, that initial primary course. So the third primary dose does require a consent form and a prescription. Um, and so that is a process that requires discussion with uh, a medical practitioner. So you can discuss that with your GP or your rheumatologist. Um, the other important thing to say is that for those people who've had that those first three doses, it's really important also to get the booster shot. Uh, and that's done about uh, three months after that primary course. Now, one of the issues that we've had is with the rollout of the boosters, um, a number of people have had uh, two shots or two injections uh, and then a booster shot. You can still access an additional dose, um, which would be... Uh, accessed through that third primary dose pathway, and that should be given three months after your last vaccine. The dose and the preparation of the booster of and the third primary dose, and indeed the first two doses is all the same if, we, if we're using the Pfizer doses. Um, so uh, there's no difference in the, in the actual dose or the preparation. Uh, the, the important exception to that is people who are taking rituximab. And if you're taking rituximab, you should discuss the dosing schedule with your rheumatologist because there's some additional timing issues there. Uh, after each of the vaccine doses, uh, oral medications, um, but not prednisone, uh, should be withheld for one to two weeks. That's really for people who have very stable disease. Um, and that's really to increase the effectiveness of the vaccine rather than because of any concerns about safety. And finally, one of the questions that I'm often asked about is, is there a blood test uh, that can predict whether I've got antibodies that are going to protect me? It's also a question that we're asking often uh, in the setting of um, the, the international meetings that we're going to or, or attending virtually. Um, and unfortunately, it's not clear that any um, test really can predict the effect of the vaccine in the setting of infection. So um, unfortunately, that's not available at this stage. So if you do have any questions or uncertainties about third primary doses, please feel free to talk to your rheumatology nurse specialist, your uh, GP, your rheumatologist. Um, all of us would be very happy to discuss that. All the best.